I, I want to talk about another one of John's sweeping themes, and it's the theme of assurance. In fact, he uses the word, the English word, no, about 40 times in 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. That's a lot of times to use the word no, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why I think that the fact that he uses that word no so many times, K-N-O-W, is because I don't know what your neighborhood is like, I don't know what state in the country you live in, what city in the country you live in, but, but right where I live, the little pocket of the world where I live in, um, people, often say, you can't know that. You can't, you can't know. You can't know that you know God. You can't know that you have the truth. You can't know that there's one way. I mean, that, it, it, that feels so arrogant, feels so narrow-minded, feels so myopic. And, and of course, I never come with that kind of knowledge with, well, at least I hope I don't come, um, with arrogance, but, but I, I'm just saying, no, but this is the revealed word of God. In fact, Jesus, again, we're going to say it over and over. He came from he the heavens as fully God and came all the way to earth as fully man so that we could know. That's one of the, that's one of the reasons that we could absolutely know that we know that we know that we know that we know. That we know.